Welcome to American High School, America's premier online K through 12 school. Today, we are going to show you how to navigate through the American High School learning management system. Upon enrolling in American High School, all students will receive a user ID and password. They will simply come to the American High School URL, click login with Microsoft Office 365, enter their user ID and password, and then log in directly to our learning management system dashboard. The first two things a student will do every time they log into the student dashboard is to see if they have any important announcements from their teachers or their counselors. Students will access their inbox, which we have integrated with Microsoft Office Outlook. To access their email, students will simply click the inbox icon, and from here they'll be able to view emails from their teachers and their counselors, send emails, and communicate with all staff members. The collaboration tool will connect students with Microsoft Teams, which will allow them to communicate with their teachers and their counselors in real time. When they click the collaboration tool, a new tab will open up with Microsoft Teams, and then find the appropriate person that they need to speak with, click on their names, and they will be able to message them, place an audio or video call for help. Every student will have a student orientation course on their dashboard that will show them how to navigate through the system, how to submit assessments, check their gradebook, and how to get support from their counselors and their teachers. Upon logging onto the learning management system for the first time, the students will complete their orientation course before moving on to any of their other courses. The only other things the students will want to access on their dashboard is their student gradebook. The student gradebook will show them every course they're enrolled in, will show them the current course average, the letter grade, the total number of marks they have obtained out of the total possible number, the teacher of record, and then they can break down the course further by clicking on the actual subject here, and they can see each assessment that they've submitted and how they performed on each assessment. Any assessment that has a red T following it is a quiz or test. This indicates it is multiple choice and will consist of anywhere from five to 20 questions. Once the student completes these assessments, they are immediately graded by our system and the student will know how they performed as soon as they submit the assessment. Anytime a student gets below a 70% on a quiz or a test, the student will be able to redo this quiz or test automatically one time. At this point, the student and the teacher will connect so the teacher can help the student with what they did incorrectly the first time completing the assessment. And then the student will be able to redo the assessment and we will count the higher grade. If the student fails a quiz or test a second time, it is completely at the teacher's discretion if they will allow them to redo the quiz, if they will give them another alternative assessment, or if they will allow the student extra credit opportunities. Any assessment that has a A after it will be a written assessment, also known as an apply. These assessments will be completed in Microsoft Word. If the student does not have access to Microsoft Word, they simply need to come up to the collaboration tool and click on the nine dots in the top left corner, and they will be able to access all Microsoft programs. To complete a written assessment, they'll simply click Microsoft Word. They will select new blank document. And just like completing a written assessment in a brick and mortar school on a piece of paper, the students will type proper heading, the subject, the unit, and lesson number, the title of the lesson, the date, and then they will complete their assessment here on Microsoft Word. When finished, they'll move file to save as, they will save the document on their computer, and then when it is time to submit the assessment, they will simply attach this for the teacher to grade. Once graded, all written assessments will have a place at the bottom where they will have some teacher feedback, where the teacher will provide valuable information on how the student did on this particular assessment. Since this was 
just a demo assessment that I completed. The teacher just said they would grade it, so it comes out of her grading list. But if this had been an actual assessment from a student, it would have provided valuable information on how the student could have improved or information on how they could redo the assessment or how they could get extra credit to boost their grade. So every time a student completes a written assessment that has an A after it, they will want to come to their gradebook, click on the title, and then check the teacher feedback in the gradebook. Teachers have 48 to 72 business hours to grade all written assessments. However, they are grading much quicker. Most are on a 24 hour turnaround right now. Here in the gradebook, students can also look ahead to see how many assessments they have remaining in the course. They can use this information to time the course. So for example, if they have 20 assessments left and they need to finish this course in two months, they will simply complete 10 assessments per month in order to finish on time. Also from the dashboard, the student will be able to check their attendance. Here they will be able to check their attendance for the last seven days. But if they wish to check further back, they could click the attendance icon on the left menu and they could go back onto a calendar and check their attendance for however far back they want to go. The attendance will give them the date they logged in, the time they logged in, the time they logged out, and the length of time they were online during that session. The only other thing here on the dashboard that a student may want to look at is their assessment tab. Once an assessment is submitted, it will automatically go into the ungraded column here. Once the teacher grades that, it will show up in the graded column. By clicking the assessment tab, the student can get further details on which assessments are upcoming in each of their courses, which assessments are still ungraded, which assessments have been graded, and which assessments they have failed. And then once they have completed the orientation course, the students will decide what course they want to work in and what their schedule will be. Because American High School is self-paced and flexible, there is no specific schedule a student has to follow. We do not tell a student when they have to log in, but we do monitor attendance. We look for full-time students to put in 20 to 25 hours of work per week, four to five hours per day. If the students aren't logging in the required amount of time or are performing poorly in their courses, all students have an academic advisor that we assign to them that will monitor their progress and reach out to the student for support and notify the parent if the student is not logging in or performing poorly. It is the job of the academic advisor to keep the student on track to monitor progress and to reach out to the family once per month to give them an update on the student progress. All students will also have a certified teacher for all courses they're enrolled in. That teacher's name could be found on the course tile above the subject. For example, the world history teacher is Mr. Kyle Royce. For Algebra 1, the teacher is Guillermo Martinez. This will make it easy for the student to find the teacher on Microsoft Teams simply by typing the teacher name in the top search icon they will be able to locate that teacher in a drop down menu and then they will be able to message that teacher place an audio or video call to that teacher every course tile will tell the student how many quizzes or tests are in the course how many written assessments are in the course what percentage of the course the student has already completed, and the date the course started. In order to begin the course, the student clicks on the subject, and that will break the course down into separate tiles. Each unit is separated by a tile, and if the student clicks on the unit, it will break that unit down into lessons. Every course begins with a course overview, which is mainly what our teachers do in the first day of courses in a brick and mortar school. The teacher may talk a little bit about their course expectations. They may provide a grading scale. They may welcome the student to the course by explaining the expectations of the course. 
They may provide a syllabus and a course outline. Course overview will also talk a little bit about how the student can get help from their teachers and we'll discuss plagiarism and how to avoid plagiarism. All courses have a course overview, which is mainly the first thing the students will do before they begin the actual coursework. Once they complete the course overview, they're ready to begin unit one. Unit one is broken down by an overview of the entire unit, and then each lesson will be broken down with a separate tile. As you could see from the overview tile here, there are no quizzes and no written assessments in the overview. Here in unit one, lesson one, there's one written assessment and no quizzes. So the tiles also give valuable information on the actual lesson to let you know how many assessments are in that lesson, or if the student has begun the lesson, has completed the lesson, or if the lesson is currently in progress. While reviewing the course, the overview will normally have an introduction video that will explain what the entire unit is about, and then we'll break the unit up by the objectives, what the student is expected to learn in the unit. We also provide a written summary that our teachers have put together that summarize what the unit will cover. Anytime the student sees a box that says journal activity, the student will be required to answer some questions in their actual journal. The journal is always on the right side of the learning management system. To access the students, simply click on the word journal and it will open up in a separate tab to the right of the learning management system where the students will be able to go in and enter the corresponding question number and then type their answers directly in the journal. Once the student has answered their journal questions, they will post the journal, which simply means it is sent to their teacher to review. Students will lose points if they are not completing their journals as the journals are mandatory. If the students are completing journals, even if they've completed them incorrectly, they will not lose points Journals provide valuable information for our teachers as to what the student is understanding and what they need to understand a little bit better. If the student is not ready to submit the journal, they'll simply click on the journal title and they could come back to it whenever they are ready to complete it. Students complete lessons by following the order of the assignments and the progression of the course. Students will navigate through pages using the icons in the bottom right of the learning management system. In this particular unit, there is only one page, so the students must review all the information on this one page before they're able to move on. Once they complete that page, they'll simply come back to the screen here and they will see that their overview is completed. To complete unit one, lesson one, the students will start out with the beginning of course survey that will gauge the student's knowledge going into the actual course. All course lessons are set up in a very similar way where the students will have an introduction video explaining the lesson, key terms that they have to learn for the reading, and the objectives of the particular lesson. This is what the student must learn in order to be prepared to complete the assessment at the end of the lesson. Students simply follow the guide on the page and progress to the next page when told to and complete all the activities in order. We provide students access to an ebook that the students will simply click on and open in a new tab. The textbooks are very interactive. Students will use the arrows to navigate the pages of the textbook. They will be able to double click wherever they wish to zoom in and zoom out. And anywhere they see the word media or anything highlighted in blue, they could simply click on and it will bring up something interactive for them, a video or presentation, some type of narrated map in motion that students are able to select different options. This way students are able to get more information on a particular lesson. Students can also click the highlight option and highlight text that they want to remember or click the note option which will allow them to leave notes on pages. This way the student will know exactly what they need to study when they come back to the text later on. 
Here the students have access to three separate videos that break down each concept covered in lesson one in further detail. Here's scientific theory, scientific law, the scientific method, and independent and dependent variables are explained in further detail. Students will progress through the entire lesson simply by clicking the navigation tool in the bottom right to navigate through the separate pages of the LMS. There will be different activities students have to complete, different animations, interactive games, interactive labs, there will be challenges and interactive lessons that the students have to complete where they answer certain questions or they navigate through the system by moving objects and completing the tasks recommended of them. Once a student gets to the last page of the lesson, if they feel that they are able to answer all the objectives of the lesson, then they are ready to complete the assessment that goes with the lesson. If they're still unsure of how to answer these questions, then they could connect with their teacher to get more information, or they could go back and review the videos at the bottom of each of the pages. Once the student feels ready, they'll simply click the assessment tab and click the corresponding assessment title to begin the assessment. This is a written lab report that the students must complete. We give the student complete guidelines on how to complete the lab and how to follow the instructions. And then when it comes time to submit the assessment, remember students will be completing this assessment in Microsoft Word, saving it on their computer. And here where they see attempt now, they'll simply click attempt now and they'll be able to attach that file to the computer when it comes time to submit it. All students are required to put some type of student feedback on what they thought of the assessment before they submit it. And then when grading, the teacher will provide teacher feedback that will appear in the gradebook that all students are required to review once a written assessment is graded. Once completed with the assessment, the student will go back and see that they've completed that particular lesson and they're ready to move on to the next lesson. The student will navigate through all course tiles in the same manner, completing each lesson, each assessment that goes with the lesson until they are done with the entire course. Besides having access to the collaboration tool for support and the inbox to connect with Microsoft Outlook, Students also have access to Ask Real Teachers, which provides after hour support for the student. If it's the evening or weekend, students could come to Ask Real Teacher down here and simply find their teacher or another teacher that is available online and ask the teachers any questions that they might have. The student can also connect with a live chat option and our student lounge, which is our social network, where students go to take a break from their work, where they can communicate with students all across the world. This is the American High School Learning Management System. We thank you for your time. And of course, if you have any other questions, all students will have an academic advisor that will contact them within a few days of enrolling in the program that will answer any questions they might have about the learning management system and walk them through any questions that they have. Thank you for your interest in American High School. We welcome you to our school community.